Hey fam, how's everybody doing today? Good, cause we're back with another video, you guys. You guys, is you ready for the Southern style dinner recipe? This easy dinner recipe? You better come on in the kitchen. <laughs> Today, you guys, we're gonna cook us some southern collard greens, some field peas. Yes, now I haven't had field peas in a long time, and I'm used to the fresh field peas. You know, purple hug is it called? Um, I just love peas, right? So I caught this on sale. Very cheap, very cheap, very cheap. When I tell you it was something like less than a dollar a can. So I got me two cans because I'm gonna put these field peas on along with some bacon because I wanna take the bacon and the field peas and take it up a notch, right? So we're gonna slide this over because I wanna show you guys how I'm gonna flavor that, right? And over here we got some neck bones. Uh-huh, shout out to Melissa. I'm gonna make these Cajun neck bones. I guess, you know, you just put a little Cajun seasoning, you know, an onion if you want to. Oh, but I think I'm gonna use the onion powder, right? But anywho, we're gonna let this pot get hot and I'm gonna show you the next steps. Okay, so we're gonna put us a little oil in here. Olive oil is what I prefer, just a little. Cause you know, perfect measurements okay but we're gonna go ahead now i know the bacon grease is gonna give it some bacon you know some oil oil but i don't care now some might say this is a little too much oil well olive oil is much healthier than me using old southern oil okay and if you know because you're a cook then you know Okay, and we're just going to put that bacon on in there. Let me wash my hands. I got to get a pot top out. Get that greasy filling off my hands. So, yeah. So we're gonna let that bacon render itself a little more. Yeah, so we're just flipping the bacon over. If I'm not really looking for a brownish. I just need that bacon oil to give it some flavor, right? Because even though I'm using canned peas, right, and snaps, I took off the juice, right? Because I want to put my own flavor in here. And we all know glory green is high in sodium. sodium. So you definitely want to take that off. Now, I'm going to put this in here, right? Let me get me a spoon. Just like that. Because we know that food is very hot but you want something healthy right and this is healthy now i grew up on this now i want to just show you guys because i'm gonna let this cook just like that and i'm gonna reach in here and i'm gonna get me some chicken broth right you said why chicken broth? Because it's gonna give it flavor. It's gonna give it flavor, baby. And I'm gonna put a can of chicken broth in here. And that's what I have. You don't need much, okay? That's what I have. Now, I'm gonna let this cook and get tender. Well, you, can you say tender? Yeah. Anywho, I'm gonna dab it up. 
with my own seasoning. As soon as I open it up. Okay, so the last video, they asked what kind of seasoning I use. I prefer this, okay? And uh, it just brings out the flavor. You don't need too much. And I'm gonna put a little uh, Creole in here. Now, a lot of people don't realize, you know, they ask, where's your table salt? Creole and a lot of other seasonings have salt in it, you guys. And I prefer not to use table salt, but it don't get me wrong. I keep it just for when someone asks me about table salt. And I'm just gonna stir that around and get that season right on in there. And we're gonna let this cook. So I'm gonna bring my pot back, right? For my neck bones and greens. Uh-huh. I'm gonna bring that back. I'm looking, oh, okay. So we're gonna cover this and let this cook. Okay, so over here, you guys, over where my neck bones at, where my couple of neck bones, um, I already put the uh carabine seasoning and i put a little meat tenderizer and i'm also gonna add my cajun spices right lord there we go again y'all i'm always doing it and we're gonna go ahead and let that do its course i'm gonna put a lid on that and i'm gonna let it cook so let me find my lids. Let's get that seasoning on in there. Gonna let that go ahead and do its thing. Hey fam, I forgot to tell you. I'm gonna add some onion powder over in my supper neck bone, right? So yeah, you can use a whole onion or you can use onion powder. So. That's it. Okay, fam. So we're gonna add our greens because our neck bones is actually cooking. Right? Now, collard greens is the easiest recipe that you can make. Well, any type of green, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and smudge this over in it. Right? Pick up my leaves. Uh-huh. That's why it's very important to keep your stove clean, okay? Because I love southern collard greens. I love collard greens, period. Hey, I love southern food, okay? So, that's what you're going to get on this channel. So, if you're a first-time subscriber or just a viewer, please consider joining my fam. I will really appreciate it. And also leave a comment. I love to chit chat. I love to give cooking tips. Yes, this is what this cooking show is all about. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and let this cook down. And once I get all my greens in, right? Because I had three bundles. It's going to feed this household. And maybe more. Because in this household, it's four people. So... It definitely could feed more people than four. Uh-oh. I want to move that lid a little bit. Crack it some more. Well, let's just take it off right quick. And you can enjoy this recipe with your friends and your family. Okay, guys. So we got it all in the pot, right? Now... You guys, I want you to take a good look at these collard greens, right? Now, if you notice, I did not put any seasoning, and I didn't even put any oil, right? So we're using fresh neck bones, smoked neck bones, that is. So I want you guys to understand, you could put southern oil, right? You know that old cooking oil that you use chicken in, okay? It does make a good pot of greens. And one would call it healthy but if you want to get really healthy with your greens use olive oil right it's going to give it that shine that glow right 
and I just put me some oil in there. Now, had I had to use bacon, I probably would have still put a little more oil. I'm going to be honest. Okay, so we're going to put us some uh, Creole seasoning. Because like I said, I don't use salt. But we're going to put enough Creole seasoning in here, right? And I'm going to use some Cajun spices, right? Now you can go and buy your own seasoning pack. And believe me when I tell you, I have done so. Now, you know, guys, I already have the neck bones in there. And I've been letting them boil for a minute. And they're going to fall off the bones. Don't get me wrong. But the other secret ingredient is I'm using this carabine, uh, you know what I'm talking about. This carabine seasoning, right? So we're going to put us a little onion powder because I'm not cooking with real onions. Just like that, right? And we're gonna use a little black pepper. Now, even though the other seasons do have black pepper in it, it just don't have enough for me, right? It does. It does not. But you say. What you doing with the meat tenderizer, right? You got meat in here. Don't sleep on it. Okay, put your little meat tenderizer on there. And we are gonna go ahead and we are gonna put this seasoning right on through here, right? Uh-huh. Now, you can thank me later once you start cooking your greens of any kind, your beans of any kind. I always put a little olive oil in it. Don't be using that southern collard green, I mean, southern chicken oil. I mean, you could if that's all you have. Don't get me wrong because your girl have done it. But I'm going to say I've been cooking my greens this way for at least 10 years. And I don't want to give my age out, right? They smell so delicious. Now, Check out the shine and the glow on this. I'm gonna move y'all just a little bit. See the glow on that? That's what you want. Now you can put you some crushed peppers in here, but I can't because of the baby, right? I gotta put that on my plate. And we're gonna check on these beans, right? I'm making sure ain't no greens on there. They coming along good. Cause I'm gonna do a trick with that. Because I'm gonna turn that into peas and rice. So let's go ahead and get our cornbread together. Okay, so we have some Jiffy right here. I'm making my cornbread with Jiffy. And I'm just gonna crack me two eggs. Cause I have two boxes of Jiffy, right? Let me start getting Wait a minute. Okay, so, like I said, I have two eggs. Just gonna stir them up in here. We're gonna put us some milk in here. Now, don't ask me the measurements because I really don't know. I just been cooking it for so long, to it's like I know in my mind when it stop right just like that now some people say hey don't add your oil to it cool down I never wait okay 
If you ask me, that's just a myth. get my pan. Okay, let's pour our butter in here. We just need a little. And I put the other butter into my pan, right? And I'm just going to swerve that around. Now, I'm not going to like really like swerve the butter in there, right? Because I want some buttery cornbread. Let me go ahead and sit this aside y'all are working with a small kitchen and if you know you know right we're gonna sit this aside and we're gonna gradually add our cornbread in here what did i do with my spoon but i'm gonna get the rest of it out right yeah y'all it's hard being a cook. It is. It's hard being a cook. You know. And the Campbell person, okay? So, we got it in here, right? And we're going to swerve our corners. Just like that. Swerve your corners so you can get that good old buttery cornbread. Who loves buttery cornbread? Leave it in the comments, okay? Leave it in the comments, but I'm gonna easily slide this in the oven. Slide this in the oven, and we're gonna let it cook. How y'all doing? <laughs> How y'all doing? All right, y'all finally see my face. Okay, so yeah, if you're not part of the family, join the family, okay? Leave a comment, mm -hmm. and while you're at it, hit the likey like. Okay. So fam, check out the flavor on those. Y'all, I know y'all see my shoes, okay? But we're not here for that. Okay, let me pick, pick them up. Because I have to run outside and take care of some business. But I want to show you the juices. You see that? Look at that. Uh-huh, that juice right there. Yes, now let me see. I wanna taste it. That's just like cooking fresh peas, okay? So, let's go on here and we're gonna put our rice. Let me get a spoon. We're gonna put our rice that I have already rinsed off. Right on in here. Uh-huh. The help cook it right on through. Right? Let's go ahead. Because this is how I'm making my field peas. With rice. <laughs> For this Sunday dinner. So we're going to go ahead and be back when dinner is done. Okay, fam. So I'm going to take this cornbread out the oven. You guys, check it out. Look at that golden cornbread. Baby, I know that got a lot of butter. butter. I can't get it out. Butter flavor. You guys, check it out. Yes. So my neck bone, Cajun neck bone, that's what I'm calling them, yes. Okay, they are looking absolutely delicious. They're tender and falling off the bone, as you guys can see. Y'all see that bone right there? Uh-huh. And look at the juices on it. But anywho, that's for mama right here, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this cooking show. Oh, I didn't drop the fork. Oh, Lord, let me pick it up. Let's get 
Let's get a spoon while we at it. So, now I want you guys to check out the red. The Lord, I was going to call them red beans and rice. But the peas, you guys, check them out. Look at that. Uh-huh. Right. Made perfectly. Right. Now, this is definitely delicious comfort food. And one of the best southern recipes. I, I know y'all don't want to hear that. Let me put that back. Because I got a couple of people coming over. You know. Let me turn this oven off. Okay. So, we have our collard greens. I better not touch that lid. Okay, we got our collard greens right there. Uh-huh. Let me rinse this off to show you. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. But anywho, we got our collard greens right here. Now, I don't like a lot of water drawn in my my uh greens i don't but we have some juices and water down in there so check out the glow on them collard greens guys you see it now isn't that delicious looking but anywho thank you all for supporting me all of this time and if you looking for more recipes always check in my playlist because i Definitely have some recipes and share my videos with you and everyone. Let me know what your girl is doing on this channel. I'm bringing you easy cooking recipes even for beginners. Affordable meals that you can combine or even eat separately. So if you hadn't checked out my video before this, um, uh, what, uh, Lord, I don't know, um, not the lemon, but check that out as well. But anywho, y'all check out my videos, okay? I really appreciate each and every one of you. Sending much love from my house to yours. Happy Sunday. And you should be receiving this video Monday. Yeah, I don't want to make any promises because, you know, hey, just know to look out for cooking with Miss Jonesy. And yes. If you're not part of the fan, what are you waiting on? How is you going to know that I'm uploading videos if you don't hit that subscribe button? You know that one right, right there? Okay. Uh, hit that subscribe button so that you can know when I'm uploading videos and bringing you good old southern comfort food and easy recipes that you can share with your friends and family and tasty recipes that you know you could <laughs> share with your friends and family but anywho you guys i gotta get ready to get out of here i'm saying much love from my house to yours goodbye